Hey guys, uh, Jason here. Um, I want to do a review on my. Um, this is called a Missouri General uh, rate or a Missouri Raider 1600 watt wind turbine generator 12 volt nine blade three phase output I bought this on August 4 man you can't see nothing on August 4 right here 2012 so this will be a uh, 10 month review for my Missouri Raider 1600 wind turbine generator 12 volt nine blade three phase output here's my rectifier coming in I'm using 12 gauge extension cord uh, this was part of my charge control setup for the batteries that used to sit down here here's one I don't have that hooked up I'm moving this system anyway my two Sun um, 10 to 30 volt GTI or grid tie inverters Got it hooked up with two of those. Um, and here's my the 50 amp shunt. This is what I got last year. I think I paid like 10 bucks for it. Order it from somewhere in China. And it pigs out in about 40 mile an hour winds. So I don't think it's accurate. So I bought a new one um, this year. So I'm going to. Um, try that out. Anyway, let's go outside and take a look at the turbine. And I'll just leave camera rolling. See my uh, 100 year old house built in the 1920s. Laundry room. Kitty kitty. Good. Okay, so here we go. Now, so there's the turbine. Got to climb up my ladder here. Got my uh, Dr. Pepper. Pepper's pretty good. Anyway, the roof's getting a little bit warm and it's not even very sunny out today. <clears throat> All right. Okay, it's getting too old for this stuff. So here we go. Here's some of my solar. Um, just put some moss, moss out on the roof earlier today. There's, uh, that's a 125 watt solar panel I bought off of Amazon. Then I made that guy, and I made that guy, and I made this guy out of a, uh, a, a solid glass, a uh, quarter inch thick sliding glass door. I don't make them like that anymore because that thing was really heavy <laughs> to get up here. Anyway, there it is. Let me put my drink down. Okay. So, my sunglasses on here so I can see, still a little bright. Alright, so, as you can see, the spacing between uh, here and here, we're talking about 8 inches between the pole and um, the blades, and from about here to here, where I have my tripod system set up, um, talking about four or six inches uh, below where the blades are spinning. Yeah, probably about four inches, as you see there. Anyway, this PMA uses two front halves of the alternator casing, and they're um, squished together, or screwed, bolted together. Um, you can see, got a little rust on my tail there my own fault for 
doing a, uh, a real slap together paint job on this. I mean, it was still wet when I put it up here on the roof. Just trying to get it done before winter. Um, but let's take a look at it. Um, blade. 10 months and they're still not hard, not brittle. Still can't break them. Uh, <laughs> let's see what else we can look at here. Oh, uh, noise coming off this thing. No noise. Still quiet as, you know, uh, it's brand new, you know, it's quiet. Spins easy. Cogging. Oh, let's see. How bad is the cogging? Well, look at that. Okay. Bump. Oh. Wait a minute. There is no cogging. Seems to spin pretty doggone freely to me. So, yeah, I'm happy with what I got here. Um, it's been performing well for me. Um, get, I get good winds in the winter time coming right off the uh, Cascade Mountain Range there. And, I mean, that's just what you see right there. That's just the foothills. <laughs> right behind that, you can't see right now because it's all clouded up over there. That's where the real mountains are. <laughs> Let's see. You can't see very good over there either. Anyway, but that's where I get my winds from. Improvements I'm going to do this year, um, just to make sure I try to make this stronger, is I think I'll put a... Uh, a collar with guy wires on here too. Use guy wires and my tripod setup. Um, just because sometimes we get some really high winds out here in the winter time. And I think maybe adding a, a ring with some guy wires on it and using guy wires and my tripod setup, uh, I think that might make it strong enough. Um, there's my boot. Um, this goes yeah, I, you know, I silicone the heck out of it. Um, <laughs> don't want it leaking. But this just goes uh, right along the back side of my house. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Let me grab my, my Dr. Pepper. And let's go check out uh, the back side of the house. <laughs> now, getting down off the roof is another story. Oh. Right over there, on the, the about two foot back off the peak of the garage there, that's where I want to put my other turbine, my little, my 500 that I got. So let me get down off the roof here. Okay. Hopefully I'm not making too long of a video. And this is going to be a little shaky, guys. Sorry. Too old for this stuff, right? So here we go. Coming down here. And come up here. So there's my uh, 500. And there's the wiring coming, uh, coming off my 1600 right there. Pops up through the roof there and I got it uh, those long those about I don't know three foot long or so those are bolted right to the top of the house then right here my wire comes straight up through the water or the bottom of the uh, bottom of the pole there and uh, yep. then I got a zip tie on here just for the extra wiring because I, I knew this system uh, where I have it going in, in my closet is not permanent. So I plan on moving it and that's why I left that extra wire on there. Anyway, and then right now I got the extension cord coming out the little window and it runs over and plugs into a, a dedicated outlet that I put in my, um, well, 
right there is my new shed where I'm putting the new charge control setup. So anyway, that's my uh, review with 1600 water. I really, uh, I really like it. It's been working good for me in my area, and I get good power. So um, nothing to complain about here. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy my review. Bye.